my name is Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV7. We're delighted you're with us. The name of the program is Discover Queen Anne's. Every week or every couple weeks, we have different guests from the community and tell us some of the interesting things that are going on and we'd like to share with you. I'm delighted to have with me today Mary Davis. Mary, thanks a million for being with us. I know Thank you're you. scared to death, but <laughs> relax, this is going to be fun. Now, Mary, let's start the show with this. Those that watch and can see, I have a poppy in my jacket. Mm -hmm. You've got a beautiful cassage there. We've got hats, which I, I'm not going to model unless you want to do. Okay. <laughs> and this beautiful tree, which we'll all talk about. But how about we start the show with this? Uh, every year at the uh, November 11th the Memorial, or Veterans Day celebration, we always read in Flanders Fields. That's by uh, Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, who's a medical doctor with the Canadian Armed Forces during World War I. So let's share that with the audience. Okay. Then you're going to go back and you're going to tell me all this exciting stuff we're doing with poppies locally. Sound good? Okay, sounds fine. Okay, in Flanders Fields. And by the way, this poem is read to and by millions of people all over the world every 11-11 celebrating the end of World War I. So it's a wonderful poem. In Flanders Fields by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw our sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. A wonderful poem read all over the world. And now, uh, Mary, you and uh, a local group are beginning to do some interesting things with poppies. Uh, here in uh, Queen Anne's County, correct? Correct. So share with us what you're doing. Who, who are you representing and what you're doing? Okay, I am the president of Jeff Davis Post Unit um, Auxiliary 18. And we just would like to get the information out to the community and to the younger generation that the poppies are still alive and well. And we would like to um, keep that momentum going. Okay. And by... Um, offering some information and sharing some ideas, maybe that would spark somebody to continue. And just to share with the audience, and especially the young people, like you said, uh, traditionally all over the world, now I live in Australia, and I know in the uh, United Kingdom, England, uh, poppies are worn by just about everybody in the remembrance of all those people who've died in all wars, but specifically originally in World War I. Right. And we talk about in Flanders Fields, where this supposedly bizarre thing happened, oh, a terrible battle took place, mm -hmm. uh, blood tragically spilled everywhere, but then this wonderful blooming of the red poppies took place. And that tradition, as I understand, took, came to America, mm -hmm. and it was passed on. So we want to mm -hmm. share that with the next generation. Yes. The um, <clears throat> American Legion, I believe, back in 20... Mm -hmm. 1920. 1920. Yes, yes yeah. 1920. Um, decide to make the poppy as the memorial flower. Right. And then a year later, the American Legion Auxiliary took it upon themselves to also name it as their memorial flower. And this wonderful woman basically went in a department store, right? If yes, I understand in New her, York. And, and said, look it, I need some flowers to give out. They had only had poppies. Mm -hmm. And she started giving them out to businessmen in New York, saying, hey, look, wear this to honor are, are fallen heroes in the wars, right? Yes, correct. And this is gone. It's, like I say, still active in many parts of the world, but you guys are great. You're going to bring it back here. Correct. So <laughs> what, are, what specifically are you going to do? When are you thinking of doing it, and what are you going to do? Well, we have done um, several things so far. Uh, I remember last year um, some of the uh, auxiliary members went to the local Corsica Hill um, nursing home and to the hospice and did a little poppy program and presented poppies to um, the folks there and some remembered and some had forgotten okay. but they were all very excited about it sure. that we took the time to explain it to them um, so it inspired us as a unit to to do more so um, we put 
uh, float together at Christmas time and entered the into Christmas the parade, parade. Okay. Mm -hmm, here in Centerville. And um, I walked as a banana in that parade. So <laughs> I, I know your you float was a lot, but no, I didn't get to yeah. see it. I followed. <laughs> it was a cute I, little float. I'd be a poppy next year and upgrade. <laughs> <Yeah. again. laughs> well, if you were in the military, okay. you could um, stand. We had a, a Marine there dressed. Oh, did you? Okay. And uh, he had toys for tots so that we were collecting for, for the children. Great. And uh, we had like a Christmas tree. This was the Christmas tree, and we had children on it with um, Christmas stockings. And it was kind of like a veteran coming home for the holidays type of theme. Oh, great. Okay. And um, it was well received, and we had a lot of fun doing it. So now, let me ask you, since you put it, uh, who made the tree? Who, who um, did that? <laughs> I think the tree was probably made by Walmart and company. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You're not but, taking credit for the tree. No, we're not taking credit for the tree. Okay. But we had a, a local um, lady in our unit, uh, Nancy Nolk. She decorated the tree for okay. us. Okay. And this was actually in the so, parade? Yes, this was, was in the parade, parade by the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. Now, so, how about and the hat? This Which, hat was done um, for Ocean City Convention every year. The American Legion Auxiliary has a convention in Ocean City. and. Um, we do poppy hats each year, and they're judged on, and that was airs about Flanders Field that we okay. presented. And it has the poem Flanders Fields, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to spin it around while we're talking. Okay. It has grave markings yeah. and some done very well. Okay. So specifically, so coming up, uh, we're in the, getting to be about the middle of April. We're talking about doing something special for Memorial Day. Is that the plan? Yes. Okay. Um, right now we have... Um, gotten together with the advisory committee um, for the cemeteries here and Chester Fields um, what we're planning to do is work with them okay. and um, we have found out that there's probably around 445 just in the little set of in the cemetery so far yeah. that we've found that are veterans and uh, so what we would like to do as a unit get together and put these flags Okay. On each um, veteran's American grave, flag, American, American flag, flag, yes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully made in the USA. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure anything yes. is made in the USA. Anymore, <laughs> and uh, so that will be a project for us, and we'll okay. keep it there for a couple of weeks and Great. take it down and make it become okay. a yearly project. Now, are you talking about selling poppies, too, or not? Did I misunderstand that? Um, yes, we okay. will have poppy cans out. I'm okay. not quite sure where locations would be. Um, Probably something prior to Memorial Day weekend. Maybe, maybe. the week before Memorial okay, Day weekend, okay. yes. Right. Um, looking for donations, and all that proceeds go to the veterans for different projects and activities Great. throughout the year. So, so what we're trying to do is start a nice tradition here in Queen Anne's County. That's yes. for Memorial Day weekend, all right? Besides always stopping on honor those who are serving and those that have fallen, right. putting flags in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. But maybe also stop, re return to Queen Anne's kind of the nice tradition of wearing poppies. Wearing poppies, yeah, getting it out. Maybe even present the mirror with one. Oh, okay, that'd be know. good, all right. Yeah. Keep the politicians happy, man. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing to do. Okay, now, let me ask you this. If someone says, hey, that's great, I'd like to get involved. I mean, can people say... I'd like to help you at the cemetery, or are you looking for help or not? Sure, okay. absolutely, and a membership is a big thing with the Legion, um, and you can join under the men, or you can join under the auxiliary. Okay. There are certain and I've dates. I've been a member, if I want you to know, since 1969. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. That's so great. Um, I joined under my husband, Okay. Um, but, you know, uh, if you have a mother or um, a wife, a sister, a uh, daughter, um, granddaughter, great-granddaughter or a mother, who has served in the military, you can join under one of those. Okay. Or if you serve yourself, you can join, or you can join under uh, the men, the Legion side. And then that would be like your father or your son or daughter. Now, if someone's you know I mean? out there and they're going, hey, look it, so they can just go to the phone book, Jeff Dav Davis Post 18, 18 and mm -hmm. just look for the phone number. And just is that where just they call. Mm -hmm. okay. Or they can stop in, and we do have applications. We ha usually have them up there at the... Um, around the, as you come down the steps, and there are applications for the SAL, for the auxiliary, okay. and um, Very it has the dates. Very simple to fill out. Okay. Yes. And it's $20 for the ladies and $30 for the gentlemen. Well, I like it because so. occasionally I can go downstairs and have an adult beverage. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday nights, is it, is it every Friday night? You have a delicious one time I get roast beef, one time steak, one time oysters. Great meal. Well, we try, yeah, we try to do something every Friday night uh, most of the time. And um, it's good food at a reasonable price. And then the money goes toward proceeds, the profit, um, to keep us going and to keep all of the um, activities that we want to participate in up and running. Okay, so. great. I, mean, I think this is a wonderful idea. I mean, in Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, I was in Australia, they call it RSLs, Returning Servicemen's Leagues. Mm -hmm. Same thing as the Legion. Uh -huh. And you join, but the, the open the wearing of poppies is really big. I mean, on their 11-11, on 
November 11th in mm -hmm. Australia, everyone walking down the street with a poppy. Wow. So it'd be nice Great. if Centerville right, would get that going. Yeah, again, right? that okay. would be nice. Now, Mary, one more time, if someone's interested, again, there's someone's out there saying, hey, look, I'd like to donate some money, or I'd like mm -hmm. to do the flags, or maybe I'd like to buy a whole bunch of poppies to give to, you know, a school or something. Yes. They contact again? Yes, they contact the Jeff Davis Post 18. Okay. And they can put it to the attention of the president or... Um, any officer, you know, and it will get to us, and then we can bring it to the meeting and call, contact them and um, see what they're interested in, and we'd be more than happy to have them. Uh, Mary, let me ask you this. I've heard you're going to have uh, some type of poppy display at the public library. Yes. Can you share that with us? Yes, we'll be having a poppy display at the library here in Centerville, and uh, we would like people to come out and take a look at it. It's, uh, we think we did a pretty good job putting it together. Great, okay. Mary, how about we share with everybody? I know the American Legion and the uh, uh, Auxiliary does a lot of community service. Could you share with us some of the things you did? Yes, we have done, uh, of course, Friday night dinners um, at the Which Legion at different times. Which I can attest are outstanding. <laughs> They're just terrific. And we also have done um, fundraisers. We do um, hall rentals and serve dinners like locally the bank or, or things like that, um, private parties that have come in, and we do a real good meal at a reasonable price. So um, maybe perhaps their public needs to check us out okay. and see what we're all about because so we some, do have a lot to okay. offer. And again, I, I think the meals on Fridays are mm -hmm. terrific. They're a bargain price-wise, and it's a quick service, and the food is excellent. Mm -hmm. So if someone has a special event, they can give you a call and say, hey, sure. could we rent the hall or at least mm -hmm. talk to you about that stuff? Absolutely. We do. Um, we just finished up with the schools uh, for Americanism essay contest that we okay. do each year. And we're getting ready to send two girls to Girl State. Great. And that'll be at Salisbury State College in okay. June. And um, so we do keep active in the community, but yet there's a lot that we can do and would like to do. So um, anybody who has ideas and wants to join and participate, give, you a be, call. give us a and call. And the membership application is easy to get and yep. easy to fill out, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to continue with a discussion about poppies and something special happening here in Queen Anne's County in Centerville that we're going to try to reintroduce the tradition of wearing poppies back on Memorial Day and hopefully getting some of our young people involved. I'm delighted to have with me Mr. John Sipes. John, thank you for being with us. Now before you give us a real practical uh, demonstration on making poppies, tell me a, bit, a little bit about yourself. When were you in the service? World War II. World War II. Where, uh, Army, Navy, Marines? Army. Or? Okay, Army. Where were you stationed, John? Well, oh, I was... A couple places, yeah. I was Camp Cal in California, basic training, and okay. rode the train eight days and got a seven-day furlough. <laughs> okay. And then I got with an outfit headed overseas. Too late to ship one bag, so I carried both bags, mm. pack, and M1 rifle. Mm. I the In the hole of a ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, where oh. did you end up serving when you got over to overseas? Started in Australia. Oh, okay. Went to Pacific. And then, okay. then we I had the R&R &R &R from Vietnam in Australia. You did? Yeah, yeah. All right, then we went to Townsville. And up to the northern part. Oh, it's tough. It's rough terrible. up there. Okay. That's why we trained up there as much as we could. Okay. We left there, went to the Admiralty Islands, and from there we took Philippines back. Oh, very good. Okay. Made MacArthur happy, right? Yeah. You gave him back. All right. <laughs> That's right. So, how many years were you in? 34 months and a few days. <laughs> you like me, you counted the days. All right. What were you doing, John? What was your job? Infantry? No, I went overseas as a clerk because I had taken commercial course in high okay. school. Okay, all right. Typewriter, shorthand. But in Australia, the cooks went and broke bad. <laughs> okay. So I ended up coming out as a mess sergeant. Oh, a mess sergeant. Oh, yeah, that's the best job in the world, <laughs> right? Nobody messed with cooks and MPs, right? Well, that's right, but the cooks did bad work, <laughs> and they got in town, and they never came back. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. They ended, up, they end, they ended up in jail. Well, 
So that's where... They picked you out of the clerk pool to cook. Yeah, because I was the youngest man in the outfit. Could you boil water, John, at that point in your yeah. life? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could boil water. Well, terrific. Well, <laughs> thank you for serving in World War II. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Right. Now, John, how about uh, we'd like to share with everybody... Uh, we were talking to Mary about the poppies we're going to be wearing. There were apparently some people in the state of Maryland, six of you, yeah. that have been making them yeah. and passing them out. Now, show us how you do it. I think it looks pretty neat. All right. This is a kit. Okay. This is a poppy-making kit. This will make 1,000. Okay. 13 inches of this material will make 100. 13 inches, okay. 13 inches, so I've got that marked out on this board. This is your work board? Oh, yeah, because I do this. I do a lot of work in my lap. Okay. You with, can see it easier with the and see cat, work. With the cat on the side. <laughs> your assistant. So you're supposed to make a half inch. So I've got some metal that I have made stop me from measuring each one so this is a half inch I put it halfway across this piece of metal and you cut it like this I make two of them because if I make five poppies I have to have an odd one I make 50 at a time and one sitting you make 50 no, no, no. <laughs> a couple sitting okay <laughs> <laughs> then what you have to do, you have to take these. And these are just straight pins, big straight pins. Yeah. And you open it up. This is the hardest part. Threading the needle, right? Well, it's not threading the needle, but most of these things don't want to come apart. Oh, that one did. That was perfect, yeah. So you're yeah. actually splitting what you just cut. See, there's four, okay. enough to make four poppies in each one of these cuts. You gotta take your time and... Now, yeah. what this is supposed to do what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to be thin, and this is supposed to come all apart with like fuzz, but it doesn't, and the lady that got me into this, she says, don't feel as if you've got to break them apart. I says, well, it'll take an awful long while to snip those and, and make them fan out like it shows on that picture. That's four. Got to have one more. And there's six people across the state doing this. You actually even have workshops, right? Yes, I've had a couple of workshops. But it seems like they, it's all great until you get in there and your fingers get a little sore. Well, after a while, I bet your hands and the fingers, right? Right. Okay. So now you've got them so all separated. Now you got them all separated. Now what you do, you split this in half this way with the black inside. And I'm ahead of myself because these should be made first. And that's just a piece of that's that's a, wire, John? That's yeah. wire. Okay. Seven inch piece of wire. You're supposed to have three and four when you finish and i made a piece of metal that is about got down to the right size when you bend it it's just far enough perfect far enough apart that it holds when you get in there now if somebody goes to one of these workshops you actually teach them all these steps and all these little tricks with the pieces of metal and everything well yeah you can take a beer can and make that okay. with scissors yeah. <laughs> it's not encouraged that with some of our well, veterans no right? they wouldn't like that very much okay. to cut up their beer cans but my main problem is you see how that's twisted right 
Well, the main thing of it is... Keep it straight. I like them so that when they're straight, what it does, when you clip that on that thing, all right, it's going to stay now today. Has a little is, TV this camera is, front. This is, this is the hardest part of making a poppy. Is you bend it just right. You, you bend that just right, and you won't have much trouble. There's your. You got it. Oh, there's five stems. So that's bent that way. This is already folded over. I don't want that piece. That's more than. That's more than enough. In other words, there's only supposed to be one black and one green. Okay, you, got, you had a double there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I had a double. Well, it looks like to me the secret is take your time and get all the measurements right. And then you oh, slide it right you up. See when that's bent right. Right. See that won't mm -hmm. move. See that won't move. So you go this way and this a little way. Little twist. Fold this up even, up at the top. Like that. I see peeling all those potatoes that there's a cook in World War II helps you get these, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's right. Just twist it, okay, and that holds it in place, right? That holds it in place. Now, when you get five of them together, you get five of those together, you take and separate your, separate your, uh, the part the these the are the pedals. Right. These are the pedals. Now you and cut those, uh, they have to be cut out of, again, out of the pack, right? So there's a that, pattern for that's cutting That's already yeah. cut for you. Oh, okay. And these are a little hard to get apart sometimes because I don't know where they store them, but I have done two kits that people started and they must not store them in a very good place because they just adhere to each other a bit. They got yeah. stuck together. Now uh, what the what the uh, instruction says that this should be five eighths of an inch from the point to there. There's one pedal around. almost done, yeah. And this is your center. See, and if those things, those things are right, that's what forms it. Okay. See, because that's cut a half inch. And you put it there and you turn it. So you just twist it right on, huh? Towards you. Put another pedal on. Now, some people roll all them pedals on at one time, and I you cannot do, that, no. do it. I cannot do it. I have tried it. I've even made a pattern here to try to uh, roll them on, but I it can't do it. I, it won't work. I can't do so it. So you just put them on one at a time? Just one at a time like that. And if you, if you stay in practice, don't, don't get too lazy and... If you stay in practice, you can do pretty good and pretty fast. Now, how many, do you do this every day or a couple days a well, week or one day a week? Or? Watching baseball. Okay, okay. What, who, who do you cheer for? You're an Orioles fan? i Oriole, man. Oh, right. <laughs> You've had a lot to cheer for, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've done pretty good the last couple of days. Now. So you do this while you're watching a baseball game? Yeah, well, okay. you get it in between batters and... Oh, there you and go. you turn it around, look like that, and then you fasten it together so it doesn't come apart. Take the short end. Just wrap it around. And you wrap it around here good and tight. You're going to have to send one of these to Buck Showwater, I think. He, maybe he'll wear in his uniform Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> he might do it. Yeah. This is where my fingers get sore, so... So you just pinch it back, around at the end. I go back to a pair of pliers. And what I can do with these pliers, I can stick this in 
tight so it doesn't stick in the hand. Well, that's it. There's Poppy. There you go. Let me just see that just for a second. Okay. Beautiful. Now, and that's one. Now, that's not spread apart like that. My daughter has the way she can make them that she spreads them. But you see, you squeeze that in, and, and it that, pops out, and that that makes your poppy. And you do, and, that, and you do that, and again, and then you yeah. reach down in here, and you twist that, and that's how they Gives make it that. that. Shape. And then this is where this is where you each have one to, of them have a tag. Yeah, each one of them had a tag. This is this is two fourteen. John, do they put some a veteran's name on these or no? No, no, this is I just don't that. know, okay. but each uh, post-everlasting ceremony, uh, they put one in the casket. Oh, actually, is that right, in yeah. the casket? Okay. Yeah. So you do these uh, 162 baseball games. That's a lot of poppies. Well, I tell you, <laughs> but you see how many times, you see how many things that a poppy gets touched before. Now you see that? Kind of popped away see from there? it. The yeah. yeah. Got away from now it. Now the, there's where I've been a fussing. They won't, they won't put enough glue on these. Oh, okay. So it didn't When stick. I first started in 2010. Plenty of glue. Oh, you have it all over your hands. Now I don't know what's Oh, I said it actually seals itself with a little bit of glue. Yeah, but you see. If you, Not as much glue. If you would, if you'd have the amount of glue on there that you want. Now it's got it. See, there you there, go. There, there, it looks right. better. Now that looks like a good poppy. Now, the reason I'd do it that way, suppose you put it in your pocket over right. there. It won't get crushed and lose shape. That's it right. works well. And it says American Legion, American Legion Auxiliary, handmade by veterans. Right. All right. Well, John, look at. Thank you very much. Okay. First of all, thanks again for serving in World War II. I bet you were a good cook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know what? Don't forget to feed the colonel. Oh, first he gets fed first. Then you get busted. <laughs> okay. All right. And look at. Thank you for making the poppies. And before I let you go, good luck, O's. Thank you. My name's Fred McNeil. You've been watching QAC TV Seven. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.